What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mies Mill, back today with some more knowledge. Now, look, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the difference between religion and spirituality. They are two totally different but very similar concepts. I don't even want to compare them, but it has to be said, you feel me? Now, most of y'all know I ain't been on YouTube in like seven or eight months, okay? And there's been a lot that's going on. I knew I wanted to do this for a long time, but I was always waiting for a perfect time, and I realized there's never going to be a perfect time. I would have probably never been making these videos if last night I was really going through some spiritual shit, you feel me? I was going through spiritual shit and I just felt so compelled to make this video. I didn't even go to sleep. It's like seven o'clock in the morning, my guy. And I'm out here in nature, you feel me? Vibing with nature, you feel me? Nature's my best friend at this point in time because like, I really don't fuck with people like that. Because these motherfuckers got problems, you feel me? I got problems too. So I can't be going around having everybody else damn problems. All right, look, so we got religion and spirituality. Um, religion is a man-made concept, okay? All, all fucking religions. You want to be Muslim, damn Christian, all that shit. You feel me? The Bible, Torah, and the um, Quran are all man-made concepts. And they are basically the same shit, except for Muhammad was the last prophet and... Some in Christianity, they believe that Jesus was the last prophet, but yeah, it's all the same shit. It's the same damn story. But y'all want to say, oh, being a Muslim is wrong, but you're a motherfucking Muslim minus Mohammed. Okay. Anyways, the Bible places limitations on your mind so that you can only understand spirituality to a certain extent. You feel me? You always in the Bible, you're always left searching for something more. You feel me? You're always like. Okay, I read the Bible, which most of y'all motherfuckers who are Christians don't read that shit. You go to church, they tell you a, a damn sermon or something just to get your damn money. They fuel up your energy. They fill up your emotions and shit. They play music to make you fucking, Ooh, you feel me? All that shit. I've been there. You feel me? My whole family is that. My whole family runs churches, pastors, preachers, damn prophets, all that shit. You feel me? So I know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to that. But... It places limitations on you and you're left searching, right? But what you don't know is God is within all of us. We are all God. That motherfucking tree right there, that nigga walking over there, that damn dog he got too, it's a motherfucking, you feel me? It's all the same shit. How you doing? So we're all God within ourselves. We all have it. We all possess it. So, um, <laughs> hey, you got, you got a cool ass dog, bro. <laughs> Let me hold that shit, though. Let me hold your dog, though. I, I, I Whatever. Um, but religion, a main thing that religion teaches you is to follow rules and directions that God puts in the Bible, right? But that's also programming you to follow the rules and directions of the world. So with that being said, whenever you read the book, whenever you read the Bibles, whenever you read the damn this, that, and the other, you will want to... Go work. Go do this. Go do that. Go do that. You feel me? Because the elites are the God figure. If you don't fucking realize this shit, bro, the elites are the God figure that you're supposed to follow, right? If you don't follow the rules of the elite, they kill your ass or some shit. It's some negative connotation behind that. And also, in the Bible, it tells you that the devil is a person who is the antichrist. So if you're not following the rules of God, if you don't believe in the God concept that is created, you are the devil. So call me the motherfucking devil. And I got that from King Von video. He was uh, talking in a video uh, with someone about this. And I felt that shit, bro. And I was watching one of, his, one of his videos, bro. And I'm telling you, bro, dude, my soul was motherfucking shaking out my damn body. Like, bro, make videos. Like, I've been wanting to make these videos for so long, but I've just been, like, waiting for a perfect time, like I said. So I couldn't even sleep last night because I felt so compelled to start making these videos. I'm already doing this on my TikTok. I don't remember if I said that or uh, whatever. But, yeah, go follow me on TikTok. You're going to get some more knowledge on there. Um, also, a big thing about religion, it instills fear in you. You feel me? If you don't believe in God, you're going to hell. And people of Christianity are so judgmental. How the fuck can you judge me when you said God is the only person that can be judged? If I don't go to church, you mad at me because I ain't go to church. How the fuck are you mad at me? What the fuck I do? Because I ain't want to go to church? Even though we all know that's bullshit. All right, so we got religion and spirituality. Religion was created in 325 AD, means after damnation, not after death, because 
as we all know, religion is a man-made concept. Yeah. So, in religion, religion really enforces a lot of fear upon people. Now, that's one thing about spirituality. Spirituality tells you to go within yourself and you want to love. You walk around with no fear. And I really, truly learned that once I began to go within myself, when I began to meditate, when I began to pay attention, holy shit, when I began to pay attention to life, nature, all these shits, I was like, why the fuck am I afraid? I don't see no damn lion and no damn bird afraid of shit. They just motherfucking live, you feel me? And also, birds don't communicate with words. They communicate with sounds, vibrations and shit like that, right? Listen. Damn, that's so peaceful. But anyways, also birds and other animals in nature, they all just, you feel me? They, and go, you feel me? They don't, hey bro, you trying to go to the west side real quick and all the birds fly to the west side? Nah, they be like, and just go, you feel me? Also, one thing about birds is that they don't have individual souls, so they operate on the spirit. And they all have basically the same shit and they all move within one consciousness, right? So that's a whole different topic for a whole nother video. But the Bible um, puts a lot of fear into people's minds, bro. And that shit is sad. But anyways, um, if you go look in the Bible about the curse of Ham, go look that story up. The ending of that story is black people were cursed, right? And now if you look in society, black people really don't have a sense of who they are as um, a collective consciousness. A lot of black people, black women in general, they wear weaves, they put on uh, certain shit to make them look different. More like a white person because in the Bible, the identity of being holy is to look more like Jesus Christ, right? So Jesus Christ is this white male with long, luscious, blonde hair or whatever. What, black people don't have that shit. We have locked ass hair, you feel me? Nappy ass shit, you feel me? So that's why you see black people wearing blind wigs and blue wigs and shit. Bro, what the fuck? Dog, find who the fuck you are. And if you want to go search for that in the Bible, it's not going to say anything fucking good about black people whatsoever, bro. Because black people, I mean, the Bible was used to enslave a group of people. What happened was in ancient Kemet, all the black people lived there. The black woman was the first person on this damn earth. And... The black person, I mean, the black woman would do this thing called parthenogenesis where she would be able to reproduce and create without having a male. A male is just a deformed version of a female. As you can tell, males have fucking nipples and we don't use them shits for nothing. We not out here inking milk and motherfucking, you feel me? Damn, that shit looks sus. But anyways, sometimes y'all motherfuckers do like when y'all girlfriends suck on y'all big ass titties and shit, nigga, get in shape. <laughs> I'm a fucking fool But anyways bro Yeah The book of The religions teach you How to follow rules And do this Do that And if you believe in God You're gonna go to heaven Right But what you don't understand Is that The concept of God The way I see it Is the elites Are the God figure Right And if you don't go If you don't follow the elites You go to jail You go to fucking You get killed Hanged All this shit You feel me And in the Bible It has a lot of negative shit About rape death killing murder all this shit you feel me and that stems from ancient greece where uh homosexuality was a very prominent thing and it still is today because of the bible and religion but let's not talk about that right now that's a different episode for a different video for a different topic all that bullshit but yeah basically freemasons use religion to control the population of people damn this is a beautiful ass scenery right here holy shit but um Freemasons use the Bible and religion, the Bible, Quran, the Torah, they put them in motherfucking different places so they can control that population of people, right? Yeah. The Bible also puts limitations on your mind to uh, only allow you to understand spirituality in a certain extent. So if you want to um, find who God is, you have to go without your, I mean, you have to go outside of yourself when... In the Bible, it does say that God is within you, but it doesn't allow you to understand that because it tells you that Jesus Christ is this man made, or this man that we have to all be like. But Jesus Christ was never actually a man that came on this earth like that. 
that will all be in a fourth dimension or a higher dimension of level consciousness, right? God, you will never see God as being a human if it was actually the way that it's created, right? But, but yeah, the God is within us. God is within this motherfucking tree. God is within this bird because it's the universe acting in itself and the universe create. I'm not in nature no more because my phone died. But yeah, it's all cool. I forgot my train of thought about 30 hours ago. But what I was saying about ancient Kemet, um, basically all black people lived on this earth. And it was nothing but black people, right? Then the motherfucking reptilians. If you don't know about the reptilians, do your research. Reptilians came in this bitch and started uh, DNA splicing. And they got um, DNA from black people, melanated beings, right? And then they began to manipulate their DNA, the OCA2 gene. I believe that's what it is, the OCA2 gene, and that deals with your pigmentation, skin color, and all that shit, right? So they created another being, and it was a less a less light version of the melanated being, which would be probably a Gervinian, Gervidian Indian or some shit like that, right? So then after that, they created the Caucasian, the, the, the Asian, and there was a um, Caucasian. Caucasian means dead Asian, it means no melanin in their skin. No melanin, dead Asian. I'm not here to bash white people, but just telling you how it is. So you got that. And then the Caucasians were created in the Caucasus Mountains. Motherfuckers went all the way to ancient Kemet. They saw the civilization there. They saw that everything, how everything operated. So they saw that they had doctors, lawyers, pharmacists, and everybody was a collective group working for each other to help each other survive, right? So what they did was they began to talk to those people and conversate and they understood spirituality, but they only understood it to a certain de um, certain degree because white people don't have souls from what I was told. I don't know if that's 100,000% sure. I'm 100,000% 100, correct. But from what I was told, white people don't have souls. So they couldn't understand spirituality to the highest extent. So what they did was they created a Bible based on what they were told from ancient people from ancient Kemet. So now they have the Bible. They went back to this motherfucker and grabbed these motherfuckers, snatched their ass because they didn't want to comply with things, that, rules and shit about going with them. So they, what they did was they left, wrote the Bible, came back, drugged their ass in chains and shit. Now it's slavery. So we're in the West. We have slavery and shit. And it's because of the Bible. And if you're a black person and you still believe in the Bible, figure what the fuck is up with you, bro. Because deep down in your motherfucking soul, you know that shit ain't right. So then they enslaved black people with the Bible, forced them to do that shit. And they basically built the United States on the back of black people. But what they don't, there was um higher, higher, higher forms of technology in ancient commit. That's why they have pyramids and shit that still can't be built now because the level of technology was so high. I don't even know what the fuck happened. Like, where is that shit at now? But anyways, I have to do more research on that shit. But yeah, so now everybody is enslaved. They give the Bible to motherfucking everywhere. Now we got the elites and shit. So yeah, that's why everything is the way it is now. From my understanding, maybe I'll find some more information in the future. If I do, or if you know some more information, hey, Hit me up and shit. Let me know if I'm wrong about something. Comment because I'm here for truth. I'm here for my spiritual growth. I'm here for to help your ass spiritually grow. So we're all going to do this together. It ain't just no one man show. Like information is everywhere. And if we can, if we come together and continue to um, raise our vibrations, raise our consciousness levels, then we can motherfucking conquer this bitch. Well, not really. I'm Yeah, we could, we taking this bitch over, but fuck that shit. Because the way that life is now, bro, it shouldn't be like that. And I've been telling this, I ain't even going to bring Shadi up, but I've been talking about that in a way that I always felt like life the way it is should not be the way it is. And there, I always felt like I was supposed to change this shit like my whole life. I don't know why, I don't know how, but hey, I'm starting here. So yeah, go ahead, help y'all start meditating, eating right, get in shape, you feel me? Raise your fucking vibrations, bro, because shit is about to pop off December 21st. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, beware, bro. So yeah, 
It's been your boy Measy Mill, and we out.